हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज अतुल गाडगे एंड आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस थ्री सेक्टर थ्री सेक्टर क्लोज इकोनॉमी विद गवर्नमेंट इन प्रीवियस डिस्कशन वी हैव सीन टू सेक्टर क्लोज इकोनॉमी विदाउट सेविंग इनिशियली वी हैव सीन वेर एज हाउस होल्ड्स वे आर नॉट सेविंग इन दैट सिनारियो एंड इन सेकेंड सिनारियो वी हैव सीन दैट हाउस होल्ड्स वेर सेविंग एंड दैट सेविंग्स आर गोइंग टूवर्ड्स द financial market or financial institutions and that investment or uh, that uh, savings uh, going towards the firms uh, in the form of uh, investment so saving and investment we have seen uh, with the saving and investment second model we have seen now here in this case we will discuss three sector model uh, with the presence of a government in our previous analysis of money flow we have ignored uh, the existence of a government for the sake of uh, making our uh, circular model simple uh, but this is quite realistic uh, unrealistic uh, because government absorb a good part of uh, income earned by the households government affect the economy in a number of ways now we'll concentrate on it, on its uh, taxing spending and borrowing uh, rules Uh, government purchase goods and services just as a household and firm do government expenditure takes many form including spending on capital goods and uh, infrastructure highways power communication on defense goods and uh, on education and pub on public health and so on now as i told you already initially that uh, the presence of a household and firm is a uh, uh, expected but if you uh, think this two place without the presence of a government it it looks a uh, quite uh, uh, unrealistic because without a government we cannot proce uh, proceed or without government wi without government uh, no welfare will uh, taken place so for the purpose of a welfare because in a economy uh, uh, there are different types of peoples uh, those who are somewhere uh, economically uh, backward and all so for the purpose uh, for the uh, for the support purpose government is required so government uh, presence is very important and if you go through without considering government uh, it remains uh, like or it looks uh, like quite uh, unrealistic which we can consider so here if you see the diagram uh, you will realize that two places are there as i told you already households and firms without uh, which uh, economic cannot proceed so household and firms are same and one player is added over here that is about a government and that's why it's called as a three sector economy because in previous module we have seen only two players that is what household and firm but here we have added one more player that is about the government and as we all know that government is divided into the three uh, layers that is about central government uh, that is what one government for the entire nation then different state governments are there and local bodies various uh, parts are there that is what municipal corporations are there gram panchayats are there so these are the local bodies which we can consider so here same mechanism is there that is what households they do uh, uh, they are a owner of factors of production and they are a consumer firms they are a producers and uh, they do make up uh, they do uh, produce goods and services and sell it to the household so if you see uh, this line or uh, this line is showing that uh, uh, this arrows are going towards the firm that is what factors of production that is uh, cons that consists of land labor capital and entrepreneur same mechanism is there and uh, in return uh, uh, households are receiving uh, factor income uh, from the firms uh, in the form of wage rent rate of interest and uh, profit which we can consider and and as I, as i told you already that is what wage uh, for your uh, labor uh, rent for your land interest rate for your uh, capital and profit uh, is for your uh, entrepreneurship so this is about the factor market which we have seen so factor production factors of production and factor income all together is called as a factor uh, market then if you see a lower part that is what flow of goods and services as usual that is what firms are selling goods and services to the households and uh, for the purpose of uh, goods and services as they are using this goods and services uh, which is which are sold by the firm for the purpose they are making a payments payments for what whatever goods and whatever services they have purchased from the firms those who are producers now uh, here as i as i told you already that is what one more player is added over here that now the the mechanism of an economy 
by when we add third player over here that is what government now if you see government and household first of all we will see government and households now what government uh, does with the uh, or what is the transition between or interaction between government and household which we can consider now here first of all we will see uh, households households they are they are paying a taxes taxes to whom taxes to the government which consists of uh, i would say a direct tax uh, direct tax is nothing but i would say example of direct tax is income tax uh, then indirect tax indirect tax consists of your goods and services taxes which is recently introduced by the government of india so these are all uh, uh, taxes are paid by the household to the government so it is nothing but it is a government receipt okay they are receiving the income from the uh, households so that is the source of income for the government then uh every time government does not receives income sometimes they make a payment as i told you already that government is there for the purpose of uh, welfare so uh, wages and salaries whatever number of uh, employees are there who are working in the government companies like uh, navratnas are there manjratnas are there so uh, in that companies government companies those who are working they do, they they do receive salaries and they to who, uh, whoever working as on the uh like a daily basis uh wages like a manarega is there uh, that individual is working for entire day and in the end of day he is receiving a remuneration or in the end of day he is receiving a the amount which is promised by the uh, employee uh, employer so that is wage then transfer payment transfer payment is uh, nothing but uh, income for doing nothing income for no work or payment for okay uh, doing nothing here we are receiving a amount of money for doing no job which consists of i would say pension old age pension old age pension is what after uh, retirement people are receiving a pension and for that they are doing nothing they are not giving any kind of input for the purpose of a in, uh, amount they are receiving in the form of pension then various allowances are there uh, various subsidies are there are there uh, subsidies consist of i would say uh, government is providing subsidies on the lpg okay various uh, subsidies provided by the government on the uh, various agricultural inputs which we can consider and beyond that one more example which we can consider that is what pradhan pradhan mantri uh, uh, kisan samman nidhi yojana so this is the income which is received by the farmer uh, i would say 500 rupees per month or 6000 rupees per uh, year per annum so here this income is received by the farmer for doing nothing they are receiving Uh, without any uh, work or any kind of input i would say so this all kind of income given given by the household to the uh, sorry given by the governments to the households and that is nothing but input so here one more thing which we can consider give uh, households are sometime getting income and sometime they are they are making a payments payments in the form of taxes and they are receiving money or they are receiving income in the form of wages salaries and transfer payments multiple uh, welfare schemes are there multiple uh, uh, schemes are there through which government is giving amount of money to the households then if you see a, the interaction between government and firms now here as you told as i told you that government is sometime receiving money and sometime they are making a payments these are the payments made by the government to the households and here in same way governments are making a payment to the firms now uh government like uh, when they purchase uh like uh, any kind of uh, uh, inputs from the firms for that purpose they are making a payment so government purchases various equipments purchased by the government and various subsidies given by the government to the firms and firms are making a uh, like a uh, firms are paying a taxes to the government that is what it is nothing but corporate tax paid by the uh, firms to the government and uh, it is nothing but a receipt for the government and whatever payments made by the government uh, that is nothing but your uh, uh, government purchases and subsidies okay so that is going towards the firm so all together here why this is a three sector economy because we are adding one more player over here that is the government previously it, it was a household and firms with saving and without saving but here we consider one realistic scenario that is what the presence of a government in the economy so i hope you have understood uh, uh, 
and same thing that is what uh, saving and investment as as we have already discussed that is what savings done by the households and uh, investment done by the firms and that is going towards the uh, savings are converted as a uh, converted into the uh, investment and that investment is done by the uh, firms uh, households they are uh, saving uh, their uh, uh, some part of their uh, income uh, out of their consumption and that saving is nothing but uh, supposed to be uh, deposited in the financial market and that's supposed to be uh, transferred to the uh, firms through the investment so saving and investment if they are both are uh, if both are equal to each other then equ economy is in equilibrium where there is no problem of development of economy but if savings are greater uh, savings are uh, greater and investment are investments are lesser then it may create a greater problem of a development of an economy so uh, this is what altogether uh, sector economy uh, with the government explanation i hope you have understood uh, all the uh, points we have discussed thank you very much